Hello, everyone. Very nice to be here. Thank you, Algorand, for putting this together. So let's begin. Do you guys know that one out of two people alive today don't have internet access? Think about that for one second. What would your smart smartphone be worth if you had no internet access? Do you declare internet access a human right 10 years ago? But today, almost 4 billion people in the world don't have connectivity. Let's say Senora Gladys here as an example. She lives in a low-income community in Latin America. She has no internet access. Her kids couldn't study during COVID, and they were left in the dark. Just like her, 1.5 billion people in the world live in a condition called internet poverty. This means that they cannot access at least one gigabyte of data a month, at at least 10, megabytes, 10 megabits of speed, paying less than 20 cents a day. In Latin America alone, there are almost 400 million people with no internet access. That is about 80 million homes without connectivity. And this happens because most of the telecom sector is managed by just a few players. These providers do not focus on expanding their coverage to connect more people, but they rather look for new vertic verticals to increase their centralized profits. And this is one of the main reasons why so many people are still disconnected today. Hi, my name is Charve Chedrawi. I am CEO and founder at Weiru, a decentralized and tokenized internet service provider looking to democratize internet access and ownership of internet infrastructures in emerging countries to help close the digital gap once and for all. Weiru is a network built, operated, and owned by the people. We provide internet connectivity to people, to businesses, and to homes using proven technologies like Fiverr, wireless mesh, unlicensed spectrum, and blockchain. We build networks with the help of the community, where everybody can get involved to improve and to increase the network coverage, either by deploying their own hotspots or by investing in the growth of the network through digital assets. We use Algorand to build the ISP of the future, fully transparent and blockchain-based, where every transaction where every transaction going from cash payments to data usage is burnt into the blockchain. We, um, we create a sharing economy with our token at its core to reward everybody for their participation. So we get node operators rewarded for network expansion, we get pool token holders rewarded for helping us bring connectivity to places where there is no connectivity. Of course, stakers for supporting and backing live nodes and our users for constantly connecting to our network. So earlier this year, we released uh, one of its kind Wi-Fi proprietary device, which is a plug and play device, very easy to use. You just get your device, you connect it to your internet router and you start make, making rewards every time somebody connects to your Wi-Fi. You earn crypto with every connection that you receive. We want everybody in the world to join, so we want to bring the masses in, so we have been working in compatibility with thousands of devices based on OpenWRT, so that anybody in the world can get an off-the-shelf device like a Raspberry Pi, like a TP-Link, or like a microtic, flash the firmware, start sharing Wi-Fi, and earn crypto rewards. We also build internet networks from scratch, and where, pe well, where people most need connectivity, right? Going that extra mile to connect the unconnected in Latin America. It works by, it works like this. We build an infrastructure, we tokenize it, and, and into something that we call hotspot pools. 
then we allow anybody from anywhere in the planet to invest in these internet infrastructures, starting at $50, and, so, and earn rewards for the performance of this network. So basically, we are allowing people from one place of the world to help people in other places to get online and get rewarded for it. How cool is that? So just like me, you're going to be amazed at how huge this opportunity is. The Latin American broadband market, which is our main focus, is a $40 billion market. The worldwide market is $400 billion, and it's expected to grow to $1 trillion in the next decade. So let's suppose that we provide connectivity at an average of $0.10 cents a day per user, only by connecting, connecting less than 1% of the people that are not connected in Latin America this could become a 100 million annual recurring revenue business. Weiru drastically lowers the cost to access connectivity, financial services, and education. Most importantly, education. So, where are we today? We were part of the Algorand Miami Accelerator, which ended, which ended in February. Thanks to this, we deployed our first pilot in a low-income community, connecting thousands of people today in Latin America. We have already deployed over 50 kilometers of fiber in a city called Quito in Ecuador. And we have sold over $100,000 worth of pool tokens already with a list of over 3,000 people waiting to get our fixed internet services. We have partnered with WOKU, which is the World Council of Credit Unions, to get connectivity to people that most need it. And we are in conversations with the United Nations to bring connectivity to the most vulnerable people around the world. Our testnet is fully live, with thousands of early adopters helping us improve our technology with their constant feedback. So I have dedicated the last 10 years of my life to the telecom sector, innovating around it. Uh, I developed the first Wi-Fi marketing platform in Latin America, and my previous startup helped businesses at the bottom of the pyramid to make money by sharing Wi-Fi. When I started this, I was a solo founder a year ago. I only had a landing page and an idea. A couple of months later, I found my co-founders, and they helped me put together this amazing team of multidisciplinary people with knowledge in technology, telecommunications, business, marketing, and of course, blockchain. Disrupting the telecom sector is no easy task, but we all believe that it's worth to try. So, we are the only decentralized internet network built on Algorand, focused on connecting the unconnected in Latin America. We democratize ownership of internet infrastructures all the way from the top layers to the final users. We are vendor agnostic, and we solve the CAPEX problem that traditional providers have. So what's coming up next, right? We believe in interoperability, so we are not just working in compatibility with other network devices, but we are also working in compatibility with other blockchains so that we can bring value, so that we can bring value to Weiru, thus value to Algorand. So we will allow people from Ethereum, from Polygon, or chains like Avalanche to participate in Weiru's ecosystem on a piece of of the internet infrastructure and start earning rewards. Everything built on top of Algorand. So, remember Senora Gladys here? Well, back in March, we provided internet connectivity to her and to her family, and thanks to that, her kids can now study. They could study during the pandemic, and she even started her own photocopy business. This photocopy business is receiving dozens of people every day only because she's providing free connectivity to her neighborhood using Weiru. If you like what we are building, please reach out today or tomorrow. Uh, let's have a conversation and help us build more networks, connect more people, and empower more communities with reliable and affordable internet access. Again, my name is Charva Chedrawi. I am CEO and founder at Weiru. Please join us to build the future of the internet today. Thank you.